another day. Welcome to King Rose Everything. We get out the Nintendo 64 today. I've been slowly working on this, getting back to working condition. I got Mr. Power Supply, and we got the AV cable. So we're getting closer and closer to using it. I still got to get a cartridge, but I got another toy for it. Uh, the only thing is, uh, I was thinking um, about this guy when it came out. I'm thinking, why are they still doing cartridges? Everybody else was doing um, uh, CDs, like Xbox and PlayStation. They had CDs. This guy was still cartridges. It seemed like this was old school and not the way to go. But the more that I've seen this and played with some of it, I realized it's still it, a lot of great games on this guy. And they did a really cool job with the uh, cartridges. And and now looking back, you know, it's like, you get a cartridge. That's still cool. You can stick it in. You get the nice tactile feel. And you get a cool console. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, I got another toy. We got, let me put this over here. Hey, let me get this out of the way. Guess what we got? And this was, aha, two controllers. And I was going to get the grape one, and I found some grape ones. I didn't want to get uh, original ones because they're so expensive and then they're very old. So I found these on Amazon for $14 for the set. And they're not great, but they're like the translucent orange at, th at that time. Or the IMAX and all, all the crap I was doing, the translucent, translucent crap. So that's probably why these are, exist. I think they're new. I can't remember. But they seem pretty cheap. Uh, it says this is not, this is set. Do not separate. And the bag's not toy. Here's a code. Not sure if that controller for N64, Nintendo 64, two pack orange. Uh, I guess being $14, it's going to come without a box and stuff like that, but that's fine. We don't care about a box. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. There's controller one, controller two. And they're fairly decently packed. Let's just open one up. I always like their controllers. Thought that what a strange controller. So it seems like it's fairly decent. I'm sure, it's nowhere near a original controller, but it does have uh, the slot on the bottom, and that's one thing I did want because I have. Hang on, let me get it. Hold on. I do have the transfer pack. Bam! Somebody had given me this a long time ago. I said, so this is kind of where this all started, I guess. I got the transfer pack, and then I was like, you know what? I need a console. So it took me a few years to get a console. Let's see if the thing went this way. I don't remember which way it goes. It goes that way. Doesn't it? Or does it go this way? No, this way. So there you go. Transfer pack fits. There we go. So that's cool. So some, some, sometime in the future, I'm going to play with that. But I guess we got big hands. It's not too bad. I think a lot of people play like this. Kind of a strange way to play. Or maybe they play like this. Probably like that. I don't know. I really don't care. I want to play it. And see, there's no label on here. So that tells you it's probably just a knockoff. And I'm sure it is. And here's the controller two. So I was thinking for 14 bucks, a set of two, probably not such a bad deal. At least they'll get me started. And they all feel good, nice and clicky. The little joystick works really well. Buttons are nice. Actually, it's not that bad of a controller. Uh, and then it's got the little button on the bottom. So all in all, for the price, I guess you really can't go wrong. Let's see. All right, we'll take that out. There we go. It's not bad. I mean, it's translucent, so that's cool. So it kind of gives it more of a, I don't know, almost like a Cub Scout colors, I guess. The orange and blue or yellow and blue, something like that. But anyway, now we have a set of controllers so we can play. So I guess the next step is going to be getting a game. we got to get a game. I thought I had some Nintendo games, but I don't. At least not that I can find. So, I guess we're looking for some inexpensive controllers. Amazon does have them, which is surprising. I saw it on eBay, but I kind of picked Amazon because it's fast, and, you know, it's fairly reliable. Let's see. 
plug fits nice and snug. Ugh. That's cool. And like I said, these are these are not refurbs or anything. These are brand new. And uh, the company I got it from, I don't even know what the company was, but it was just one of the cheaper ones I could find on eBay or not eBay, Amazon. So fourteen bucks, two orange translucent controllers. Good deal. So I think in the next video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug this sucker in, and we know it works. These are new, and get a cartridge. So I think, let me find a cartridge. I gotta get a cartridge. And then we're gonna fire this baby up and give it some play time, because I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. You can do this through emulation, but it's not the same. You gotta have the, you know, controllers, the box, all this stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and you, that's you, have a great day. Hey, we're back. So I did find a cartridge, uh, Namco Museum. I knew we had a cartridge somewhere. So we can test this sucker out. And this is going to be the very first fire up. I did plug in the uh, joysticks. That's your joysticky. Let me see. Unravel it a little bit. There we go. We're going to give the sucker a test. Let's see. Everybody's good. And we're going to fire it up. So let's fire it up without a... Okay, so it does nothing if you just turn it on with no game in it. Let's put the game in it. There we go. And drum roll. Hey, we got something. Uh, controller box. Or controller pack. Uh, no controller pack. Please insert controller pack into to controller in controller socket one. Or continue without saving. Oh, so that must be for here to save it. So let's hit B. She's working. Let's see. You can tell this is the first time I ever used a Nintendo 64. Press start. Start. Oh yeah. Pac-Man. Mix Pac-Man, Gal Galaxian, pole position. Dig Dug. Let's play Miss Pac-Man. That's my favorite. Okay, so I want to say for, let's see, we got 250, 14, 12, so that's 26, 7, 28, and say the games, maybe 10, so 35 bucks. We got a perfect working Nintendo 64. Very happy. Let's try this out. Okay, so those work fine. The nubbies work. Okay, well there you go. So we have <clears throat> a beautiful working console. Yay! It was a gamble, but I figure, <clears throat> you know, for you know, 250 and then I did spend money on the power supply and other parts so I guess if I did find another one I would have some parts for it but it was a good gamble paid off so we have a Nintendo 64 so now we can start doing some Nintendo 64 games cool so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and you checked out these joysticks these are pretty good they're a little light and that's what this video is really about I wanted to test them out I mean you can't really test them without a, a cartridge so here we go perfect have a great day